maybe there's a, a VCR, a VHS tape. No? Yes. Next time you plan to do some nosing around, make sure you let me know. Heh, will do. Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building, have they? Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. Before he... Well, he probably will die before that happens. I'll miss it here, but... Too, too, I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of that basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Yeah, I don't think Larry deserves getting offed. Thank you, Terrence. Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Addison still thinks that she's in a vacation or something and that she'll come back. I don't think that that's going to happen. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it's more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stepped down, stopped them, or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. I think she was a witch. I think she was a demon. I think she was an alien. I think she was a witch. Because it doesn't actually mean that the, the witch is evil. That would make sense, though if she had powers, why would Rosenberg just mope around this little apartment? Maybe she was too old, or maybe she'd just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting to all kinds of trouble. Yeah, I would not be doing that. Heck, I know you would. Just because you're a witch doesn't mean you're mischievous or evil or any of that good stuff. Mr. Mrs. Gibson's place. Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Ugh, why is he here? Hey, Mrs. Gibson, we were... Well, that's about par for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge. She definitely is consistent, for sure. Let's work our way down to the basement, shall we? Hmm. They still didn't fill up the vending machine? I'm so disappointed. Oh, this, this room. Huh, what is it? It's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it there. What if we needed to for something? What could we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally and this is my friend, Larry. We research paranormal and our occult activity in the town of Knockville, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. True. I would be... I would definitely... Like, be under that same wavelength. You don't know nowadays. Yeah, that's okay. I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember tapping it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Maybe he was pickpocketed off of him? Maybe somebody stole it from him? Could be possible. Ooh, there's still slime coming out of this. That's fine. Is 
It's weird leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change. I didn't know if, we need, if I, I, need, I needed it at the time. So I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Did his mom pass away? I have a feeling she did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I know I'm not going far, but it'll still it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's keep looking around. Yeah, I feel like his mom's not around anymore. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. Heh. You were so worried about my bloody no nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine. Why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. That's so nice. All right, we'll go outside for right now. Oh, is something about to happen? Okay, it's getting a little worried there. Is this where we keep the gear? I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh, I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? He, Larry's such a great friend. This is so tragic. They really are setting up his death very well. No, I'll tell him the truth. I don't want to get in the habit of lying to my friend any more than I need to. Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it's your father, then I... Well, I don't even... I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. I think he was gonna not... Be, Clearly, Larry was going to be in danger no matter what, so even though it's a little bit meta, I, you know, I'm just going to tell him the truth, because at least he'll know the truth before he dies. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult, to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something? I missed that part. He crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. I, that part I totally missed. I totally did not get that part. He was with his sister Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Was was did are you supposed to find this out by unlocking some of the puzzles from the previous chapters? Because if that's so, I don't. The inconsistency is a bit off. I shouldn't know those things if I didn't solve those puzzles. Assuming that's how I was supposed to like know about these things. Aren't you going to say anything about all this? You know you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? Really dude? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. Alright dude, it's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're going to talk about this more later. I'm not making this up, like after you die. <sighs> That's it? Nothing else? Really? Alright, well, there's gonna be a death here in a few years, so... Decent. Okay. Did we not go to Lisa's room? Or what used to be Lisa's room? I don't think we did go to what used to be. Lisa's old room. Yeah. Lisa's not here anymore. Okay. Yeah, I like how 
it's implied, but they didn't explicitly tell you that Lisa's gone. It's so sad. It's so very sad. I'm sure, I mean, it makes sense if Larry is moving. Sally Face and Larry Bear. This is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey, what brings you two here? Uh, just looking for ghosts. You boys and my Todd are like peas in a pod, aren't ya? Hey, that rhymed. Heh. <laughs> Have you seen anything weird lately? Eh, all the time, Sally. Life is full of things both strange and beautiful, don't you think? Definitely. She's so high right now. Did these boys just go into the bathroom together? Did those boys just go to the bathroom together? <laughs> Craig? Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on the Super Game Gear Boy either. So he has a Super Gear Boy. Another tooth? Yeah, maybe it's a clue or something. Tooth, one out of five. A tooth I found in the basement. It has an N carved into it. A tooth found on the second floor. It's all burned up. Yeesh random body parts from people. Yeesh. Okay. It's locked. Oh, wow. Look at all these plants. Ray. Hi, guys. Larry, are you back for more already? Nah, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Norris Morrison. Sal, ha you haven't seen the garden yet. What do you think? Uh, it's great. Isn't it though? It's a thing of true beauty. How did you get all this stuff anyway? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill ya. Ha! Heh. <sighs> Foreshadowing. But really, this isn't exactly legal per se, so I'd appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. Uh, and of course, I'd be happy to supply you with some produce whenever you'd like. No, thank you. Your secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know, Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. <laughs> how happy. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Oh, he's lucky to have such loving parents and such good friends. I am proud of all you boys. Okay, well, all right. I don't think that was legal yet at that time. Not in America, at least. Todd's parents. Man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Uh, there's the... Yeah. And they never... They never clean anything in this apartment. Oh, God, I can't. Yeah, I would be running away from this bathroom as well. Getting any readings on the gear boy here? Nope, even your little goat buddy is hiding. Man. That's where the shoot was. This is where we, yeah. I wonder what they did with Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meat. Yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Huh, there's a tear in the carpet here. I can't pull it up by hand though. Use a tooth. Alright, well, I'm guessing we're gonna have to come back once we find a tool for that. Heesh. I should have known these guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place out overnight with just the two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops and Mrs. Sanderson died too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight, because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? 
No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them going into the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every now, every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over there, so I didn't realize that those cops were not actually cops and were part of the cult. That's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot. Could be nothing, or it could be something. Uh, I mean, those are the options. That church did always give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there, just to check it out. Cool, I'm down for some good old B&D. B&D? Breaking and entering. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Yeah. Hmm. Packer did his old place. Pocket knife score. Nice, that could come in handy. Yeah. I agree. A pocket knife with multiple tools. Nice. It's Swiss Army. Did you see on the news what they that they said Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the cult probably has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Ugh, as much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I don't think he was that good of a guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault, we couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. I'm confused about that. If he killed her, if he murdered her, shouldn't he... Shouldn't he be, you know... Punished? Or have consequences? Is that not unusual? Can I use this knife to open the patch, maybe? I can pull that up by hand though. Let's use the pocket knife. Oh. I have no idea. Was there a symbol that. Nope. Let's jump to the fifth floor. Just get it over with. At least Larry's with me. Until he meets this untimely demise. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach, and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this effing prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing, just glimpses of my life beyond my really reach. I wish they would open that, ga that vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this, this to end. Yikes. Okay. All that because you're hungry. Okay. 
did you remove these? Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Yeah. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just thinks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The red eye demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Like Vecna. Then we blast it back to hell again and when it shows up. If demons are real and souls are real, do you think there are angels too and heaven and hell? God and the devil? Is all of it real? Um, I mean, I identify as a Christian, so I don't know for sure, obviously, but that's part of the point. Um, but I hope so. I hope so. I go back and forth on all that stuff, but I hope there is something good out there, something better than us. I never used to believe in anything supernatural before. Now with everything we've seen, I'm not sure what I believe in. I've always had the feeling that there's something bigger going on. I just never really knew what it was or what that meant. I still don't. And you probably never will. So many things to explore. Yeesh. Huh. What? Looks like there's a hidden panel in the bottom of the birdcage. I never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it. Almost like someone had tried to open it. I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. How about from the pocket knife? There we go. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what will what needs to be done in the tooth. Assuming I'm able to complete the side quest, if this is a side quest, because I haven't had much luck with the others. Pickle? Oh my, you've made a mistake. What the heck, man? The end will be us, the end will be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here. The darkness binds. Ugh. It scared the stuff out of me. I've caught that bum sleeping up here before too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like a crazy gibberish to me, man. Yeah, I'm sure it's not just crazy gibberish. I'm sure there's way more to it. The tooth will set you free. Dude, no. A tooth... The, the tooth I found on the floor, it has a W carved into it. Oh, north, south, east, west. North, south, east, west. Yeah. Okay. North, south. Okay. North. South, east, west. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, cause it's a compass. Yeah, it's a compass. Oh, which means that belongs there. Okay. 
need two more teeth. Maybe one in each floor is my guess. Okay, fourth floor. Mr. Sanderson? Oh, sorry, we didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockville tonight. I just need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you? This may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. We have seen her. Oh dear, I was afraid of this. How is my angel doing? I haven't been able to connect, connect, contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here, but we haven't seen her for a little while. My poor Sandy, she didn't deserve this. What is it that you were afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what exactly? Um, never mind. I'm just upset. That's all. Would you boys do me a favor to just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. We'll be back there later. Yeesh. Another tape? There's a tape here, but it's broken. Oh, Lisa's still around. Oh, 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 oh. Dad and Lisa, okay. I did not see that. Oh, oh, okay. Huh, did not see that coming. Hey, Dad, hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo, hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Oh my gosh, is Larry our, our stepbrother? That's kind of cool. Um, like a couple weeks ago? Hey, okay, Sal, we should all, all have dinner again. We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa's going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. The, her lasagna, just like the balagna. Hopefully the lasagna is better than balagna. Mmm, your las lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not going to say no to free dinner. I actually have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message you or whatever your kids do once dinner is ready. It's cool. Te it's called texting, Dad. Right, right, that. Sounds good. Well, I'm glad that both parents, my parents seem okay. I wonder if Lisa and my dad are around during my whole trial thing. And how are they feel about, about all of that that's going on with their kid? Uh, I'm afraid to ask. was my room. Oh no, Dad's office. Now it's... Oh, there's nothing interesting. Okay. Okay. Dan and Lisa. Robert's place. bread burf ha huh. hey hey there's my ghost snappers hey dude hey rob how goes the hunting uh it's dead around here none of the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now is that a good thing or a bad thing we aren't sure yet but we're looking into it i see 